Greetings, one and all. It's been a while since I've done a one-to-one -one head kind of video. Had a few issues with my camera. Got a new camera, but I'm not sure if the sound quality is that good with it. Not as good as the last one, but hopefully you can hear me. And if you want to look at me, see me as well. <laughs> but it's summertime. I've been putting up a lot of videos lately. Not everybody's like them. I know some people found some of my videos a bit contentious lately with some of my interviews which with other people, which is a shame because, you know, other people have the right to say what they want. Free speech is one of the most important things I promote. We need to be able to say what we want as long as it's not harming anybody or hurting anybody. But we should be able to talk about more or less anything and philosophize and debate as to why certain things are happening in this world and why some people are like this or other people are like that. As long as we're not being, you know, bitchy poos or slagging anybody off. I do try to stir away from politics though, mainly because I've never really been a political person. I do vote when I need to, but normally for the lunatic fringe, because I don't like to waste my vote. But uh, I've never really understood politics. So I do try to steer away from what's going on with there or why people become politicians. I understand many people do it because they want to help um, the society make it a better place, but I also see there's a lot of egotistical people that join politics just because they <laughs> feel like they should rule the world. Um, and a lot of puppets, obviously, in politics. But I'm happy to let people rant away on my channel if they want to. But as long as people are aware that for me, it's all about trying to help people on their soul and spiritual path, help people find their path to God. And I think most of the people I invite onto my show, onto this channel rather, do do that in a certain way. You know, some might be a bit contentious, some might be a bit more, you know, from let's say the Gurdjieff side and others might be a bit more new age, but I'm happy to let other people speak their minds. And not everybody is going to like every show I do. It's kind of like when you watch a series of Doctor Who, we've all got our favourite doctors. And sometimes there's some of the doctors you just think, oh, how did they become a doctor? They're rubbish doctors. But well, it's going to be the same with various ones from my shows. I know some people don't like it that I've been putting a lot more Steiner lectures up later than lately than Gurdjieff ones. That has been okay. I have gone a... <laughs> I'm going down a kind of Steiner path of revelation at the last six, seven months or even more than I was before. So I'm beginning to understand why Steiner gave various lectures. And I feel we're in a pivotal time of humanity. So some of his lectures I do feel are needed to be out there for now. And he explains things much better than I ever could. So again, we're trying to fathom the gist of what he's saying. We also have to remember that the lectures that I've recorded that he gave, these are transcripts of his lectures. If he wrote these as books, I'm sure it'd be written in a more concise and clear way. This is someone's shorthand taking down of what he was saying. But still the premise is in them all. So that's why my shows have been quite different lately. And I've had a few people asking, bring back Gurdjieff, and which I will do. And we're gonna have a lot more, I've recorded a lot more Morris Nicole that's coming up over the next few weeks. And Raj, I'm trying to put together an Raj event, which I hope will happen somewhere in possibly Leeds in North England sometime in the next year or so, where I, I believe that we need to promote what he was promoting of the idea of love and consciousness and being awake. So that's all to come. So I'm hoping to have people on my channel that will help discuss Raj a bit more. And my channel is also just to try and encourage people to go and look into these kinds of people. These are uh, more, uh, more awake people than us. These people that make us ponder on what life is and give us wise words to go off and ponder on and hopefully open our hearts and come with the love. You know, I know Gurdjieff says, learn how to think intelligently and how to feel with your heart, you know, feel with your solar plexus. And Steiner's trying to teach us to uh, take our heart to our minds. We're trying to um, bring our mind thoughts down into our heart as well, so that we can try to spiritualize both of them. And of course, Christ is in our hearts for those that 
well, he's in all our hearts, whether we welcome him in, in or not, but it's those who connect with that Christ in your hearts that's going to help you along in your path. And I've said before, I'm not talking about institutional religion Christ, I'm talking about the esoteric Christ that can help us develop ourselves, which will then help us develop the rest of the world that's also developing and going along with the cosmos. It's all one big evolution. I think of these people from the past, like Gurdjieff, Peter Dunov, Steiner, and such like, they're all prophets for our time. And I've been reading a lot about prophets lately. I've re been reading a book on Zoroastrianism and how Zarathustra was the prophet of that time and will be the coming prophet in the future when he's needed. And I feel like we don't always have these people to give us these uh, wise or these words of wisdom to bring us back to our hearts. There's a lot of doom fearing going on on the internet, a lot of doom mongering. I keep having people say, no, oh, you should listen to this guy, you should listen to this woman. And I go and listen to them and I realize they're not directing us down the heart path. They're directing us into the fear and porn of this is what's coming and they're gonna take over and they're gonna you know, put a chip in us all and they're gonna uh, put us into, I forgot what they're called, them cities smart cities and things like that. I do see that's coming, but at the same time, I think we can help uh, change the world by developing ourselves. You know, if we can just have 200 awake people on this planet, the world will change. So I'm trying to encourage each individual to work upon awaken yourselves. Don't go down too many rabbit holes. I've noticed a lot of my friends have gone down some very deep rabbit holes in the last six, seven months. I don't know how they've fallen so deeply down into them that do turn into doom and gloom and fear porn and such like, and trying to bring them back to the idea of love and light, which I know sounds all a bit new agey, but we are trying to become light beings and we're trying to spread the love and develop the love in ourselves that we can then send out, you know, the unconditional love that I've talked about on many of my shows. There's a, when you're sending out too much doom and gloom or and fear porn or worrying about what's going to happen to the future that will also create a ripple effect and we have to reel in why do we fall down these rabbit holes why do we like having the fear porn why does it all you know you know i must me i used to love looking at all the fear porn and the doom and gloom and look what they're going to do to us it's all pointless because they you know the cabal wants to take us all out but there are ways out of it and that's what these gnostic texts and the deeper meanings of the Gospels and the other religious texts, you know, the Bhagavad Gita, the Quran and things like that. We need to be able to read the esoteric side. We need to fathom the gist, as Gurdjieff would say. We need to read between the lines of what is really going, what they really mean and how they can help us develop as individuals. so that We can find our way back to the kingdom of heaven, and not get stuck on the kingdom of earth. Even though we have to walk this path of the kingdom of earth. That's why I always be thankful to Gurdjieff and his and the Gurdjieff work, because that showed me how to navigate my way through this lunatic asylum. His work and the, all the exercises I did through the Gurdjieff work have helped me to understand myself, other people, why this world's a bit weird. <laughs> you know, it was a revelation to me that I was not the only one who from a young age thought we we're in a lunatic asylum though I probably had different words for it to what Gurdjieff said but I'm just going to end with a little bit from Peter Dunoff who says suffering in the world arises from the fact that the body the heart or the mind of a person is impure then the divine energies entering in meet certain resistances so I'm going back to how we have to work on all our centers, our mind, body, and uh, feelings. Uh, mind, body. Yeah, mind, body, and feeling centers. Let's call it that for now. To try and understand how these centers work, begin to align with them so that we can then uh, connect with our higher centers and then have the higher forces that are sending the messages down to us we can receive. When we're caught up in the fear porn and the doom and gloom and the worrying and the unloving way of people living we are as Dunov says putting up resistance to receiving the good stuff 
you know, it's it sounds crazy, doesn't it? Yeah, at the same time, it is quite simple. But again, we then have to put the effort in to actually do it. <laughs> Once we start doing it, it all starts working. So I just wanted to put these up because I had, a, like I say, a few emails and a few messages about what was happening with my channel. And I try to put up things that are positive, uplifting and to encourage people to work on themselves. And I also felt um, I put all them, the Apocalypse of St. John up by Rudolf Steiner. I know that was up, went up every day. And I think some people got a bit fed up with keep getting notifications. There's another one of them up. Well, I wanted to put the whole series up because I think it's a very powerful series. And it talks about what's coming in the future, where there's so much doom and gloom and fear mongering about what is coming from the future. Steiner explains in those lectures what we need to do to prepare ourselves for the war of all against all for the coming Araman and such like. So that's why I put them up. I'm gonna do one more Peter Dunov quote. Another bit of Peter Dunov. The divine will visit us when we are absolutely pure so that it will not meet any resistance. Which is kind of like what I was just reading. In order that we may live well, we should purify our flesh, making it of pure and refined matter so as to be able to receive luminous and sublime thoughts. May luminous and sublime thoughts come to you so that we can all work together and develop and become <sighs> harmonised people. Thank you for watching. Love you all. <laughs>